All right, we're going to clean the Ruger GP100 Match Champion. Basically, to start off, we're going to spray some ballastol in each uh, cylinder. And then we're going to spray some ballastol down the barrel. Um, once we have that, we're just going to kind of uh, use our brush. This is a little bit of an odd angle. Um, and just try to get off some of this uh, gunpowder, carbon, whatever you want to call it, as much as we can. To kind of get this all nice and clean in here. And we're going to do the back of the uh, the wheel to make sure we get this lifted up here and just get all underneath here and uh, get all in here. And I actually cleaned this a little bit beforehand, so you might want to use the brush a little bit more than what I'm doing here. But this is just to uh, just to kind of show you. Once you have that done, um, and again, some people may have different methods. This is just wor what works for me. Um, you're just going to kind of rub rub off the, as much of this oil as you can. Um, you don't you want it oil, but you don't want just gobs of oil, and you just don't want a mess on your hands. So um, we're going to just try to rub this off as much as we can. Uh, get in here, get get this all off the frame. And there you go. It's uh, shining up shining up pretty nicely. Get back here where the hammer hits. It's a little bit hard to see see maybe from this camera angle, but you're just trying to get get anywhere where you can see metal and black, and just try to really uh, get all of that off. You can see here we got it's a little bit stained on the outside of the cylinder, so just try to do what we can. And if you get in the habit of cleaning this every time you shoot it or every couple times, it's much easier than if you wait till it gets all nasty and built up. So you heard me say about uh, earlier that I use a bore snake. So on the wheel gun, uh, the bore snake's pretty simple. Um, all I'm going to do is take it and kind of run it through each one of these uh, chambers here. This might look a little awkward, but we're going to take the bore snake. And um, if you can see right here, it's got some bristles on there. So that's the first thing that's going to go through there. And then it just kind of cleans it out. So we'll run this through uh, each, each uh, cylinder here once or twice. So there you go and then we'll run it through the rest and what this is doing is this is cleaning it, it's getting the oil that I sprayed in there off, it's just uh, taking care of everything. So just run this through here. Yeah, the wheel guns, uh, for me, seem to take a little bit longer to clean than the semi-automatics. And uh, also, the guns look so nice, you just want to make them clean, um, just so they look good. Um, so, yeah, they take a little bit of time, though, which is all right. Um, it is what it is. But it's, uh, you know, the firearms an investment, so for me, I want to make sure I take care of it. I want it to last. If I ever want to sell it um, for, the, for, you know, anyone else... Uh, yeah, if you want to sell it or just whatever, um, if it's nice and clean, it's going to, you know, be better better value or resell value. So I'm going to take the barrel and uh, do the same thing down through the barrel. And I'm just going to uh, pull this through here. And we'll just go uh, a couple times through here. Maybe we'll go one more time. Get it nice and clean there. Okay, that's good for the bore snake. And then what we'll do here is uh, I'll usually take the, the crown of this barrel and we'll just uh, a little ballast all here, and we'll just make sure we get that crown nice and clean. And we got just a little dirt down there. There we go. Okay. So um, now I pretty much got it all clean. What I'm going to do is I usually take these blue uh, just shop rags and just wipe it down. Make sure, uh, it's probably a little hard to see in here, but just make sure you get get everything all, um, you know, nice and wiped down. Get as much of that excess oil off as you can. Come here and we'll make sure we get underneath this, uh, this ejector. Get all around in here, the back side of it. Get your cylinder all 
uh, clean or your wheel, whatever you want to call it. Um, just get all this excess oil off. So I think we're just about done here with this Ruger GP100 Match Champion, and most of your revolvers are going to um, clean the same way. Um, so it looks a lot better than before we started. And if we want to test it out, um, you know, we can test to make sure everything's uh, working correctly. So with that, um, you know, again, as always, thank you for uh, watching Nick's Shooting Channel. Um, I'd encourage you to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all of the above. You can check out our website or check us out on Facebook, whatever works out for you. So hopefully you could learn something here. Like I said, um, I'm not the expert gun cleaner, so maybe there's a different way. Maybe there's even a better way. But uh, this is what I do. It, uh, it seems to work for me. And, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully you learned something. Have a great night. Thank you very much.